people. Back to your projects and remember, never chisel toward yourself. Welcome to Miss Mojo and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mistakes left in Disney Channel shows. Well, have you seen my lamp? For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest continuity, animation or set errors the network's series have made. Think we missed any particularly embarrassing goofs? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Changing phone colour – Kim Possible Telephone companies are constantly coming out with new models and styles, and people do tend to line up to get them. Still, we're pretty sure nobody in the Possible family ran to replace their old landline in less than a minute. Kimmy, it's for you. Guess whose garage band is playing at my party? Yet in one instance, Kim is on the phone with her friend Monique using a device that's clearly blue. She then briefly switches gears to communicate with Wade on her communicator. Cool costume. Wait a second, you're gonna leave your room? No way! When she pivots back to her first conversation, the telephone she was using has suddenly changed colours. And no, we don't mean the blue hue looks slightly off. So, Josh Mankey is seriously gonna be at your party. Now would I lie to you? The item now appears yellowish. Wait for it though, because it ultimately reverts back to its original colour as she speaks to Ron afterwards. It feels weird, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it does feel weird. Number 9. Poor Lunch Choices – Lizzie McGuire It's the series premiere, and Lizzie is trying out for cheerleading. You wanna try out for cheerleader? Are you crazy? Do you wanna risk humiliating yourself in front of the whole school? But that's not the most shocking part. Her friend Gordo has a plate full of broccoli, even though he hates it. He says he tries to avoid it, but there's one flaw in his wisdom. Big deal, so you can't handle conflict. I can't handle broccoli. So I learned to avoid it. It was established early in the episode that the cafeteria is like a buffet, meaning that the students choose their food. Mmm, McNuggets. <laughs> This means that the only way Gordo would be stuck with broccoli was if he willingly and knowingly piled it onto his plate. Did he really wish to torture himself like this just to prove a point to Lizzie? Not exactly. Number 8. Suspension Confusion – Even Stevens Appropriate that this entry is for Even Stevens, because it's a two-for-one deal on mistakes. We've got 2x plus 7x to the fifth times y. To set the scene, one of Lewis's schemes to get out of algebra backfires, and he gets a one-week suspension. I am officially suspending Lewis from school. I'm having his locker cleaned out as we speak. Surprisingly, they take the time to hose his locker out like a crime scene. That seems a bit more permanent than a week, don't you think? Lewis Stevens is not allowed in this school for one whole week. But that's not all. After what feels like only a day, Lewis is suddenly back in school. There's no real indication that a whole week has passed. Guys, I'm trying to concentrate, please. After one pep talk from Ren, his suspension appears to suddenly be a thing of the past. It's nice we get a heartfelt message at the end, but it feels half-baked with all these continuity errors. I don't understand. Number 7. Spontaneous Kipling – Jesse At the end of the episode Used Karma, Bertram scares the kids and Jesse away so that he can watch his program in peace, but he is not really on his own. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Suddenly, Mrs. Kipling, the lizard, reaches for the remote and spooks him into letting her choose the program. Finally, I get to watch my program. <laughs> hey, I was watching that. It sounds like a fair deal, except look at the table between shots. When Bertram scares the kids, table is empty. But when he sits down, Kipling is suddenly on it. Either that lizard can teleport, she's just that insanely fast, or someone in the editing room got a little sloppy. Number 6. Visible Equipment – Hannah Montana Unfortunately, not even Hannah Montana is immune to making the usual live-action sitcom production mistakes. Like you said, they are the press. They have a right to know. Yeah, come on, it's a question. Are you hiding something? That means that sometimes crew members or their equipment can accidentally be seen in a shot, shattering that TV illusion. Just distract her. Help. Lily! Oliver's having trouble breathing! I am? 
That's exactly what happens in this season 3 moment, when just above Miley's head in the subway, a boom mic appears and promptly vanishes. Maybe the operator got caught up in the excitement of the storyline. We get it. Most people probably missed this one when the episode first aired, since it's pretty much a blink and you'll miss it moment. But now with streaming and Disney Plus making the show available to watch, pause and re-watch, it's hard to unsee it. Everybody has those days. Number 5. Woodshop Inconsistencies The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody It usually isn't that hard to tell Zack and Cody apart. The former is the rebellious ladies' man, while the latter's the more book-smart twin. You want me to take an easy class? Like woodshop? <laughs> What makes you think wood shop is easy? However, there's one thing about the brothers that the show can't seem to keep straight. Which one of them is passing and failing wood shop? Could this class be any easier? In the season one episode, Smart and Smarterer, Cody aces the class while Zach is struggling in every subject. A joy to teach, a pleasure to have in my class. What a little chiseler. Wood shop. Oh. <laughs> However, in the season two episode, Books and Birdhouses, Zach suddenly has a knack for wood shop, while Cody barely passes. How's the first day of the new semester? Wood shop is going great. Mr. Woodburn loves me. He's letting me work with mahogany. We're not sure what caused these two to suddenly switch carpentry skills in between seasons, but it feels jarring. Cedar? Douglas fir? Cottonwood? Balsa? Cherry? This is all news to you, isn't it, fella? <laughs> Number four, the coin dive. DuckTales. One of the most iconic moments in the DuckTales franchise is seeing Scrooge McDuck dive into a pool full of gold coins and literally swim in his fortune. Oh, there's only one thing better than owning a vault full of cool hard cash, and that's swimming in it! It's funny, it's whimsical, but is it possible to do without hurting yourself? Not really. It's nowhere near as soft as it looks. If you were to actually attempt it, your bones would shatter like glass. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins and I'm gonna dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Other cartoons have made fun of this fact, and even Scrooge himself has acknowledged the implausibility of it all. Are you out of your head? You'll crack your skull open! But you swim in money all the time! Yes, but I worked hard to perfect that skill. Hopefully we don't have to remind you all not to try this at home. We're not sure Scrooge should be doing it anyway. Don't question the ancient method. Number three, Cory and Topanga's daughter, Girl Meets World. Taking place several years after the original Boy Meets World, Girl Meets World follows the life and times of Cory and Topanga's daughter, Riley Matthews. Whoa, Riley, you don't do lip gloss. Oh, <laughs> what I forgot to mention is that I'm completely reinventing myself. However, many longtime fans will remember that in the original series, in a rather bleak vision of the future, she was named Beverly Glenn. In less than a year, you were made partner in the most prestigious law firm in Connecticut. No, it was heading that way, but then we had little Beverly Glenn and I took some time off for her. You could argue that this moniker was just part of a what-if scenario and couldn't really be considered canon. Still, bringing it back would have been a nice callback to the original show. They had Eric return as Mr. Plays with Squirrels from that same episode, after all. Yet, they didn't think to give Riley her original name, which doesn't make much sense when you think about it. Number two, the world's strongest taxi driver, Jessie. It's Jessie's first day in New York, and she's already ticked off one person, her taxi driver. Do you know where I could find a great job? <laughs> Right. He's so done with her that the next time he stops, he tosses her out of his cab. <laughs> that was rude. The only thing is, Jesse wasn't in a spot he'd have access to without moving, and he doesn't exit the vehicle. On top of that, he also throws out her suitcase, which wasn't shown next to her. In other words, he magically got it out of the trunk and chucked it. Haha, <laughs> 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 you missed me. Wow. He must be the world's best cab driver to defy the laws of physics like this. Or, you know, it's an error. You must be a really bad tipper. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Genie's Lamp – Disney's Aladdin The Series Say the word and you're a prince again. But Genie, what about your freedom? As a spin-off to the original movie, the Aladdin TV series is bound to make a few mistakes. Well, there's something wrong. I'll have it fixed immediately. Things like Genie's cuffs and earrings disappearing, or colour glitches feel inevitable. Boy, I could go for a foot bath. But there's one aspect that still baffles us. If Genie really is liberated, why does he still keep his lamp? He was imprisoned in it for over 10,000 years, and now he's free to come and go as he pleases. Ah, my lamp. There's a whole new world to explore, but throughout the series, he's seen returning to it and happily living inside it all over again. Don't disturb me. The lamp and I need some time alone. Perhaps he just wanted the choice to leave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.